Hey, this is Voices for Learning, where we help you grow as a voice actor. My name is Susan. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before we get into it, I want you to take a look in the description. I have a link to an amazing course on audiobooks and really doing well on ACX. So if you're brand new to audiobook narration, you need to take this ACX course. Take a look in the description. You'll find it. It's awesome. Um, please like, please subscribe. I'm a new channel. Please leave some comments. Let's get into this video, which is all about how to increase your chances of winning audiobook auditions through a technique that I call power slating. Let's get into it. Power slating. What is it? So I've said this before in previous videos that I do highly recommend when you audition for an audiobook in particular that you do slate your name at the beginning of the audition. And a slate is you just simply say your name, you record your name, and then you go ahead and record the audition. Now there are slates and then there are power slates. And this is a term that I've pretty much made up. But I, it, what it does is it differentiates um, some actors from other actors. Now, um, I always think of it kind of like a firm handshake. Um, when you slate your name, you're kind of just basically introducing yourself with a handshake. And you all have shaken people's hands where they're like, just bleh, mushy, mushy hands. And then you've shaken people's hands where that's like a big, powerful, confident, competent handshake where you thought, wow, I, I for whatever reason, I trust this guy or this woman. And it kind of feels like we have a little bit more of a relationship with that firm handshake. So that is what a power slate is. And what I'm going to do is show you how to do it. Now, before we go into it, let me kind of get this in your mind. Remember that scene from Terminator 2? Remember Terminator 2 from like whenever that movie came out, 1992? If you haven't seen it, you need to see it. Terminator 2 when Linda Hamilton's like all crouched in the elevator and she's terrified because she thinks that Arnold Schwarzenegger is the bad Terminator, but he's actually the good Terminator. And he reaches out his hand and he says, remember, say it with me, come with me if you want to live. Well, Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't reach out his hand and say, um, excuse me, Sarah Connor, come with me if you want to live. He says, come with me if you want to live. That's what a power slate is. A slate could just be your name, but a power slate is the Arnold Schwarzenegger reaching out his hand and saying, you better come with me if you want to live. I'm not messing around. We're not playing games. Come on. Now, the way that you power slate is, first off, there's, there's kind of like two rules to it. Number one, you put a gap between your first and your last name. So I'll say my name. Instead of saying Susan Fouché, it's Susan Fouché. You put a gap between your first and your last name. You're declaring it. You're making a declaration. This is my name. I'm competent. I've got laser beams behind my eyes. I am powerful. And what it's telling the author is, when you hire me, your audiobook is going to sell. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so good. I'm the best. Susan Fouché. Instead of Susan Fouché. <laughs> It's, it's the firm handshake. Come with me if you want to live. Power slate. So that's the first rule. Put a gap between your first and last name. The second rule is to emphasize the second to last syllable of your last name. So my name, for example, actually should be pronounced Fouché with a little bit more of an of a emphasis that second syllable, the last syllable, Fouché, is really how I should say it. But in a power slate, you're still saying it correctly, but you're putting a little bit more oomph on that second to last syllable. Susan Fouché. I'm still saying it correctly. I'm still pronouncing it correctly. I'm just putting a little bit more punch on the second to last syllable. Susan Fouché. Susan Fouché. There we go. Power. Laser beams behind my eyes. Hire me if you want your book to be badass. Here's some other names. And this is actually a good, that, this is kind of a power name right here. Massimo Di Santi. And Italian names kind of like, they're always like, that's sort of the rule is um, the second to last syllable is pretty much always pronounced anyway. So maybe that was a bad example, but I just thought it was kind of a cool name. Massimo Di Santi. 
Here's an awesome power name right here. Kyle Pruznikovsky. I would hire Kyle Pruznikovsky. Now, but what if your name is like a double name and your last name is a double name? Okay, that's still okay. The rule still stands. We put the gap between the first name and the last name, and we emphasize the second to last syllable, which is the Jax of the Jackson. Anne Marie Smith Jackson. Power. Laser beams behind my eyes. I'm competent. I'm confident. And when you hire Anne Marie, your book is going to be so good. Yeah, but what if your name is like just one syllable, your first name is one syllable, your last name is one syllable? That's okay. The rule still stands. You just put the emphasis on the last name. Bob Smith. Bob Smith. Power. Okay, uh, what if like the first name is two syllables and like the emphasis is really supposed to be on that last syllable, like L Lucas, or uh, sorry, it's supposed to be on the first syllable, Lucas. Chen. Hey, it's okay. Lucas Chen. Power, man. That's a power name right there. But what if your name's really weird? <sighs> Let me tell you something. If you have a weird name, that's even better. Because, I don't know, we like unique stuff. I mean, there's probably only one Unicorn Salzman in the whole wide world. I would love it if my name were Unicorn Salzman. Unicorn Salzman. Power. Remember, laser beams behind the eyes. Confidence. Competence. Power. Come with me if you want to live. Strong handshake. In fact, stronger than strong. Pull him in for a kiss on the mouth. That's the kind of power we want. But what if the audiobook is like that you're auditioning for is a meditation? Okay, then back off of the power just a little bit. <laughs> if it's a meditation book or if it's something like, you know, I don't know, something that is, needs to have a little bit of a quieter, you know, softer uh, sound to it, that's okay. Susan Fouché, it still has that power conveyed behind it. Susan Fouché, Kyle Pruznikovsky, The Art of Meditation. Perfect. It still conveys competence. It still conveys um, confidence. And that's what audiobook listeners want to hear. They don't want to hear wishy-washy. They don't want a limp handshake. They want a firm handshake, no matter what the book is about. So, power slating, and I think you're going to win more auditions. Keep going. You're doing great. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and put in the comments if you do have a weird name. I'd like to see your strange name. All right. Adios. See you next time. Bye.